Hi. Well, I hope everybody's having a good 4th of July weekend. Decided I was going to get out and do a little bit of shooting. And what I've got here is a Remington Model 11 shotgun. And these are pretty much common as dirt, uh, the normal ones anyway, the standard ones. If you think it looks like a Browning A5, you're pretty close. It's practically the same gun. But what makes this one a little bit unusual is that this was a U.S. military shotgun from World War II. Now these were, uh, of course these were not frontline weapons. These were... Uh, uh, guns that would have been issued to the military police, security details, things like that. And, um, oh, I've even heard stories about these being issued out to uh, truck drivers, uh, uh, kept in motor pools, even on um, auxiliary uh, naval vessels and uh, stuff like that. It, it, basically any place where it wasn't uh, frontline action. And they were also issued to occupation forces uh, after the war. But you can see the markings here. Matching markings on the stock. In pretty good condition. They ma they made quite a few of these. But anyway, I figured I'd get it out today and do a little shooting with it. So I'll get it loaded up and put this camera on a tripod and we'll fire a few shots with it. Okay. I'm going to fire just a few rounds through it. I ought to make a little noise for the 4th of July. One thing I didn't mention about this, it is in pretty good shape, but uh, somewhere along the line we've, uh, the front bead has been lost off of it. Been meaning to get one and put one back on it, but I had, just haven't got around to it. Well, this old beast is in pretty good shape for its age. Doubt it was ever used a whole lot by the military. It probably sat around in an arsenal all the time. Make sure to get these markings to show up here. Couldn't really see out there in the bright sunlight through this uh, camera viewfinder very well. And I mentioned that it uh, was missing the front bead sight. So I got to thinking about that and on the uh, way back from the range I stopped at the local uh, gun shop and got one. But I want to do an end of video shout out. And this one's for Wheel Gun Dan. And I'll put a link to his channel in the description of the video. If you get a chance, go check it out. Thanks for watching.